The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The run of trophy games continuing on Saturday for the Wisconsin Badgers as they were down in Iowa City taking on the Hawkeyes. We'll take a look back at some of the highlights from the Wisconsin-Iowa matchup. This week's senior salute, we'll hear from offensive lineman Dallas Lou Allen, and we'll sit down with head coach Gary Anderson to talk about cold weather recruiting, rivalries, and more. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Go behind McAvoy. And McAvoy's going to read it and keep it. He's to the 40, 35, 30. McAvoy to the 20. Cutting right. Goodbye. 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Tanner McAvoy from 45 yards away. Stavi working under his center, Dan Bolts. Joel takes the snap. He'll give it to Gordon. Uh, running behind Arneson, and it's easy money for Elvin. Melvin Gordon into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Arneson was looking for somebody to hit. There was no one there, and Melvin Gordon able to glide into the end zone off the left side. Eric Watt is the fullback. And on first down, they give to Gordon. Over the left side to the 10, 15. Gordon to the 20. Outside the numbers, 30. Gordon to the 40. Gordon to the 50. Down the sideline, 40. To the 30. Breaks a tackle to the 10, to the 5, and brought down at the 4-yard line of Iowa. You can only slow him down for so long, and then he's going to pop a big one, and that's 88 yards on the run for Melvin Gordon and make it 2,000 and then some this season for Gordon. Stabby under center. Joel takes the snap. He'll give it to Gordon, probing the left side. Bounces out to the 20. Gordon the 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Melvin Gordon, 23 yards to the house. Stabby in the shotgun. As Gordon to his left, Jordan Frederick breaks out wide to the right. Stavi back to throw, four-man rush. Stavi steps up, flush left, he'll run, 40, 45, and spinning up to midfield is Joel Stavi on the biggest run of the game for the Wisconsin Badgers. 155 to play, first down Wisconsin. You know, I would have expected me to help pick up a key third down, maybe throwing the ball, but to say that you know I would have ran for a big third down on the last play of the game, I would have, I wouldn't have put my money on it. I guess going into the game, <laughs> a little unexpected, but it was the biggest play of the game. We needed a first down there, and uh, and he answered. And that's good. You rubbing off on you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You got to ask him that question. But uh, no, like I said, that was, that was a huge play in the game, and he had to do it on his feet, and uh, he answered it. You know, Stav running for that. You know, that was just unbelievable. I thought he was going to dish it off to me, and then I seen he's running. And I tried to come back and block, and I, I slipped and fell. And you know, when I seen him, you know, jump up and, and get that first down, man, that, it just felt good because it just showed how much he wanted it. Corey to the ten, to the five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Corey Clement. Taken down by Michael Caputo. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Wisconsin. Melvin Gordon. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas by Toyota and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney, and together we saved a life. UW Health. Remarkable. <coughs> when you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. 
because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum. Where will it take you? Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. The reason why I chose Mercedes is because I was looking for a different kind of a vehicle. I was very surprised how affordable that a Mercedes was. What I had for the price with leasing my Toyota, I had an opportunity to be within $75 difference. So I was very impressed with it. That's why I purchased a Mercedes. Drive the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 Formatic Sports Sedan starting at 41325. It feels amazing, you know, we're all beat up right now. It was a tough physical game against an amazing defense. Um, we're going to be feeling it tomorrow, that's for sure, but to come out with a victory makes it all worth it. We've had trouble winning close games in the, in the past. Uh, I think one of the reporters said that the last time we won was against Coach Anderson, he was at Utah, and it was a close game. But, uh, I mean, it's great to get a win in this, uh, in this environment, in this score, uh, the, score we, the situation we were in, the adversity we faced, and uh, we, we needed to win, and we, we executed. Tremendous victory, so proud of these kids, the way they kept fighting. You know, all three phases contributed, which was great to see. And but just the fight, you know, things don't go your way. You got a lead that you feel pretty good about, and all of a sudden it's uh, right back in. And uh, that is as good a college environment that you're going to get on the road. I mean, that was uh, it was loud, it was crazy, it was hostile. Um, that's what the Big Ten is. You know, I went up to Melvin and all the guys after the game, and I just thanked them for bailing us out. And you know, we really appreciate that. And that's what a team win is. Sometimes um, the offense might not be doing as well, and the defense steps, you know, takes over, and you know, vice versa. So, um, you know, we got humbled today, but at the same time, our offense really proved themselves, and we're very happy for that. That was fun. It was fun to be able to, you know, convert a couple of third downs in those big drives there in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, as an offense, that's exactly what we got to do. Um, you know, it's, a, it's so much a team game. The defense has played so good all year, and, you know, it's kind of fun that tonight we got a chance to, you know, really almost, I, w I don't want to say bail them out, but, you know, we, did, we had to make sure that we did our part um, to win this game, didn't have to rely on them. Playing Minnesota, that's my favorite game. Uh, growing up as a Wisconsin kid, uh, I used to wait all day for the Minnesota-Wisconsin game. I couldn't wait. I'd wake up early and just wait for that Axe game to come on. So to me personally, it means everything. We're doing the right things to put ourselves in position to be a great team and to, to uh, play in the big-time games. Uh, and uh, today was a big game, and we got the W. And uh, next week it'll be uh, the same story with you know a big game. We just have to just prepare and just come out on Saturday and execute. Well, everything is on the line. And you know, Minnesota gonna give us they all and we're gonna give them they all. We, we 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 gotta we gotta because you know it's not only for the acts, you know, it's not only, you know, the winner goes to the Big Ten championship, but it's senior day. And uh, you know, we didn't send our seniors out on senior day the correct way, um, against Penn State last year. Um, and that, that that kinda hurt me and it kinda stuck with me for a while. We let up. But you know, now it's Minnesota and it's our rival game and everything's on the line. I'm telling you, they're going to get us all, they, we're going to give them our all, and I know it's going to be the same way with them. The reason why I chose Mercedes is because I was looking for a different kind of a vehicle. I was very surprised how affordable that a Mercedes was. What I had for the price with leasing my Toyota, I had an opportunity to be within $75 difference. So I was very impressed with it. That's why I purchased a Mercedes. Drive the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 Formatic Sports Sedan starting at 41325. It's Weissman back in the game at running back to the right of the quarterback. Snap to Rudock, back to throw, pressure back side, down goes Rudock. Sacked outside the 40-yard line. I believe that was Derek Landish getting to the quarterback. It was Landish and Weissman missed the block. 
Hard to believe just one home game left for the Wisconsin Badgers here at Camp Randall Stadium on Saturday as Wisconsin will take on Minnesota, the annual battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. And uh, yeah, the way the schedule has laid out this year, you give the rivalry games. There's, you know, the trophy game now introduced this year with Minnesota, the Heartland Trophy with Iowa. Been around a few years. The axe has been around a long, long time. Um, you find out fairly quickly. You came from rivalry games where you were before, but you find out quickly what yeah. it means here, don't you? Yeah, they're very, it's important, and I like them late in the year. I think it's uh, just adds that much more excitement, a little cold in the air. I mean, uh, we like the four seasons. We wouldn't live in Wisconsin, and, and I think they're, those games have a little bit more when they're built around Thanksgiving or whatever they're built around late into the year. So they're important games. They're fun games. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it, there's, there should be a lot of respect between those teams, and that's important to me. I grew up in those rivalries, and I believe there's, uh, they want to compete, you want to beat each other, you want to have bragging rights, but there's also some respect that can come with that, and uh, I think our kids have that, and I think the opponents do too. Well, the atmosphere this past home game was, was electric. The day was which is magical. You mentioned the weather, though, and, and obviously Wisconsin isn't the only team in the Big Ten deals with this, but in the recruiting process, uh, how do you handle that? Because I'm sure you get questions yeah. depending on what part of the country you're targeting. Um, how do you address that, that question that you probably get? Well, you know, actually a couple of young men that took the trip this for the Nebraska game waited and came because they wanted to have an idea what it was going to be like late in the year. And it uh, didn't matter how cold it was. When you have that crowd and you're a kid and you're watching it and you can say, I can play in a game like that, uh, it doesn't matter what the weather was. <laughs> but uh, it was good. You know, they got a great feel of it. They got a, an unbelievable environment. Uh, you know, the best of the best. It doesn't get any bigger than that. You're playing a big-time opponent, big-time game in a situation late in the year. Uh, the crowd was absolutely fantastic. And so, and that can never go without me saying thank you to the people and all of our kids. Uh, it was electric. It's fun to be a part of that. And, and again, it's where a 2:30 game can make a difference too, right? You know, for fans, it's it's very obvious. Those mm -hmm. who drive from distance, but from a recruiting standpoint, gives gives these kids a fighting chance to, to really does. take it all in. Right? Yeah, we had three of them that came in, played Friday night, got on a plane early Saturday morning, and we're here at you know, 10, 11 o'clock, whatever it may be, grab a quick bite to eat and off to Camp Randall for a game, and then they can continue through their visit. Whereas if it's an 11 o'clock kickoff, they miss the first you know, first quarter, second quarter, get here at halftime, not, not nearly the same feel. Every young man, uh, well, maybe not every, but most, I suppose, when they're making their college choices, their, their dreams go beyond that, too. And I've heard coaches in the past say this about the weather. You say, look, um, if you want to play in the league, you're probably going to get scheduled to play in Buffalo or get scheduled to play in, in, with the New England Patriots, either against them or with them. Is that something that, that maybe every coach uses, too? It's said, look, everybody would love to play when it's 65, but that's just not how the real world works. Absolutely. You know, I choose the Packers usually when we're talking about where you're playing in cold Good weather. Um, but they, uh, we want kids who love football, and I believe if you love football, you're going to play as long as you can. And so every kid has a dream in high school to move along and an opportunity to play in the NFL and play high at this level in the Big Ten and hopefully at Wisconsin if they're here on a recruiting trip. But... Um, we definitely talk about it. We mention that. It's to me, it's you're crazy if you don't, because it is a positive for those kids to play in those games. It's a little bit of cold weather. It is when you get uh, from that that last home game where the snow has fallen and it's it's a cold day. It's almost like those old NFL films, right? Yeah. When you see a slow mo, especially a guy like Melvin, but anybody, uh, any kid probably watching that. If you like the game at all, you get goosebumps. Yeah, you? yeah. It was the when that snow was falling there late in the game, and uh, it was it was weird. It was somebody told me it was one of those little snowflake things you shake up. It's like you're inside of one of those. Snow globe, of yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was amazing. But you you cannot be a fan of football or be a young man that wants to be part of college football, and not have that get you yeah, a little fired up. Yeah, and the good news for Badger fans, you get one more game here at Camp Randall Stadium. Football to be played after that game to be sure, but one more home game at Camp Randall as the Badgers take on Minnesota, the annual battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. Coach Anderson returns for this week's Great Dane Great Question of the Week in just a few minutes as the Badger Sports Report continues. We'll be making a traditional octopus salad, drizzled with some olive oil and topped with a dash of salt. It's funny how seeing a clearer picture can lead you to see the bigger one. 
Get the most HD channels and the fastest internet on the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Crager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Ah, the bold new Camry. You can get a great deal during Toyotathon. I love the new look. And it's a blast to drive. Oh, so you've driven it. <laughs> yeah, I've taken it for a spin. Toyotathon savings are here. Get incredible 1.9% APR financing on a bold new 2015 Camry. Or lease Camry for just $219 a month. Hurry in today. You want to borrow my driving gloves? Toyota, let's go places. You know, it's, it's crazy, you know, just looking at this freshman, like I said earlier, looking at the freshman video that I had and my hair has gotten way longer and obviously I didn't grew a couple of facial hair and stuff like that, but you know, the college, it, it goes by fast. I didn't think that when I first got here, everybody said college gonna go by fast, but now that you will see, like it still went by fast, whereas it's my last football season and you know, I want to make it the best and that's why I come out here each and every day and try to work hard. What are some of your goals coming into the year? You know, just well, one goal is just being a leader. You know, I have to be a leader to the group. One of the veterans of the group, the oldest of the group. So being a leader and then, you know, the, the more success we have as a team, the more individual success I'll have. And, you know, I don't really have any set goals as far as I want to do this, I want to do that. You know, I just want to go out there and, you know, God willing, I can just play the best that I can, you know, I can play and, you know, everything else will work out on its own. How have you changed as a player since you were that freshman coming in? Um, being more mature, you know, knowing knowing more the offense, knowing more of how defense works, it slows the game down a whole lot to where you know exactly what teams are going to do and stuff like that. And like I said, just maturing out there and, you know, being that leader and, you know, growing up. That's all it is, just growing up out there, you know, not necessarily playing around so much, but growing up and you know, taking care of your business on and off the field, in the weight room, taking care of your body and stuff like that is, has definitely grown, you know, me as a person and as a player. Here comes Kenzel Doe running up, makes a catch across the 20 yard line, left side 25, Doe to the 30, 35 yard line to the 40, 45, 50, Doe cuts inside right, 45 to the 40, three Aggies in pursuit, Doe to the 30, the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Wisconsin, Kenzel Doe brings it back and the Badgers are back in the fight. When he first got here, he had said something, he was like, he said he had thought about it. He's like, he remembered like, dang, you was that guy that ran that part return back on us and we had we lost the game because of that. And I was like, yes, sir. And he, we just started joking, laughing about it. But ever since then, he really haven't said anything. And sometimes I remind him a little bit. I'm like, Coach, you remember that punt return I ran against y'all? And he will start laughing and stuff like that. But, you know, ever, ever since then, it hasn't really been, you know, too much. just because it's, it's here and we focus on what's going on here and stuff like that. And, you know, that's the past. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Northwestern 19. Snap to Stavi. Back to throw. Lost it left side. Kenzel Doe got it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Stavi to Kenzel Doe. And the Badgers are very much alive. One memory is just being here with, you know, these guys that's been here and, you know, that's been gone and stuff like that just because they made, they made my college, you know, life fun. 
you know, they made it fun just hanging around those guys and stuff like that. And even after, you know, after they're gone, they're still here. You can, you still laugh and joke with them like, you know, like Monty and James and, you know, Antonio and all the, and Cromartie. They still, still joke around with you, even if they're on social media and stuff like that. So them guys right there definitely made my college, you know, my college career a lot smoother. Last year's senior class was a really big class. What were some of the things that you guys learned from them that you can apply to the younger guys this year? I think uh, they had a lot of experience and uh, portrayed good leadership. Uh, for me personally, it was Ryan Garrett on the offensive line. He played in a lot of games. So just trying to be a leader on the field and off the field like him is uh, what I'm trying to carry over and do with these, these guys right now. You guys have um, quite a few seniors actually on the offensive line. What are some of the things that you guys work with the younger guys so that they can continue on the offensive line tradition after you guys leave? Yeah, I think that started back in the summer. Uh, we had the freshmen in the summer just working on uh, technique and doing what we could without pads on, helping them with everything they need to learn as far as the playbook and the offense goes, and just trying to help them get a jump start on uh, the offense in general. You can just look up on the facade here and see some of the accomplishments that you guys have done in your time here. What are some particular memories that stand out? Uh, definitely my freshman year going to Rose Bowl and then <clears throat> two more Rose Bowls after that was quite an accomplishment. And uh, along with that, it was three straight Big Ten championships, which was pretty awesome. I know um, during one of those Rose Bowls, we talked to you about the Beef Bowl, and I remember you packing away uh, quite a few steaks. <laughs> yeah, I had some... Uh, uh, I had to live up to Travis Frederick the year before me. I think it was uh, he wanted me to do well, so and he was playing that game, so I don't think uh, he could quite do it again. So I had to pick up the slack. But some of those memories, the maybe off the field kind of stuff, is that stuff the stuff that you really take with you, and maybe after your playing days here are done? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have a lot of com camaraderie with the guys, and especially the offensive line, the starting five. We're a pretty tight knit group, and we hang out, and uh, we're good friends. So those are the memories that you carry on forever. I think. What's your major and why did you choose it? My major is wildlife ecology. Uh, I've always had a passion for the outdoors and natural resources in the state. Uh, I've always hunted and fished my whole life, so I like the outdoors and I just picked the major that apply to that. What are some of your favorite things to hunt? I uh, went deer hunting my whole life with my dad back when I was a little kid and it's probably one of my favorite things to do. I'm still chasing the big one, but uh, after I'm done playing football, I'll hopefully I have a chance and get that big one. Being from Wisconsin and being able to say that you played for Wisconsin, how important is that to you? Uh, it's very important. It's, uh, I'm very lucky and uh, just to come here and be a part of the tradition is uh, pretty awesome. It means a lot to be a part of this Badger family and uh, we've had a lot of former players come back this year and talk to us and one of the main things I emphasized was it's a family no matter you're playing or you're not playing and you always be a part of it, which is great. Fans use signs to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, the come horns. But there's one sign everyone wants to be identified with. Number one, fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours just buy another Hyundai. Number one in customer loyalty five years in a row. Show your loyalty using the hashtag thisisloyalty. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney, and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Ooh. Ah. <laughs>
Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time for this week's Greg Dane, great question of the week, and Rick from Menominee Falls checking in this week. Wants to know, Coach, who's perhaps the biggest coaching influence you've had in your career? Great question. Uh, an easy question to answer at the beginning. Coach Ron McBride, who was my position coach, at the University of Utah, and then he hired me, gave, my, gave me my first uh, Division One job, and was with him for a long time. Uh, so he would be number one. Uh, we inter 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 interestingly enough, excuse me, we're talking about rivalries. Lavelle Edwards is somebody that I always looked up to uh, through the years of playing and actually coaching against him, uh, the old BYU coach. And then from there, there's quite a few. You know, Kyle Whittingham was big for me, but I'm always learning. So. Uh, uh, I say it all the time when I talk to coaches. My dad told me long ago, if you have somebody that uh, you value the information that they have in their mind, then you need to shut your own mouth and just listen while they talk. So I'm always trying to learn, but Coach McBride would be number one. All right, we thank you for your question. The Great Dame with multiple locations. You know about the one up in Wausau. There are four locations in Madison, the east side of town, downtown Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. Badgers close out the regular season against the Minnesota Golden Gophers coming up this Saturday at Camp Randall Stadium. We'll talk to you after that game. Thanks for watching. The reason why I chose Mercedes is because I was looking for a different kind of a vehicle. I was very surprised how affordable that a Mercedes was. What I had for the price with leasing my Toyota, I had an opportunity to be within $75 difference. So I was very impressed with it. That's why I purchased a Mercedes. Drive the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 Formatic Sports Sedan starting at 41325. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing, because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. 